Uh, you mentioned the uh, triple numbers, and uh, let me explain that. That is a very similar thing. Uh, that is something that was given to me personally by the angels in about 1972. And they wanted me to use it as a way of confirming to myself uh, many of the things that I was uh, experiencing within myself. So uh, if I was trying to see if I understood something, uh, perhaps about uh, whatever it was that I was trying to understand, uh, I would watch the triple numbers as they, came, as they move through my reality. I have no control over that. It's like I look at a billboard and there's a phone number and it has 555 on it. Or I see a license plate if a car goes by and it's 333. Or uh, there's other ways you can see those numbers. They can be in letters. Like MMM is 444. And if you count the, the letters as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, those are one through, th one through nine, and you start all over again, one through nine. This is the procedure that I was taught. And, uh, and so letters, you could have a four and an M and a four. When you have that, it means it is a, uh, it means it's somewhat hidden, but it still is there. Let's talk about the, uh, first of all, give the why triple numbers are important. Um, and I'm not the first person to ever talk about this, by the way. Alice Bailey was one who talked about this. It's all based on music. Uh, if you look at the chromatic scale of 12 notes and the 13th note is a return, the cycles per second of, of, the, of the notes between each one of these notes is 11, seconds, 11 cycles per second and multiples thereof. So it's all 11, 22, 33, 34, 55, etc. that go up. And, uh, and w so whenever you see even double numbers, like you see 11, that means that there is a, uh, a harmonic moment is taking place. But when you see triple or more, then a really harmonic moment is taking place. And what that harmonic moment is about depends on what those numbers mean. <laughs> and so what the numbers mean is this, 111, refers to energy flow. It could be any kind of energy flow. It could be money. It could be electricity. It could be sexual energy. It could be anything at all that is associated with energy and the, or even the subtle energies, but it's energy flow. It's almost always positive. 222 two, two means that a new cycle is about to begin in your life, and it depends on what you're thinking about when you see 22. Two. That's the other thing. It's very much like the I Ching. Uh, whatever you're thinking about is what the I Ching talks about. And the same way, whatever is in your mind when you see the triple number is what it's referring to. And so when you see 222, two, two, it means a new cycle is about to happen and it based on whatever it is that you're thinking about. But what the nature of that cycle is, is determined by the next triple numbers that you see. 333 three, three means that you have a decision in your life about whatever you're thinking about. And that decision is going to move in two ways. It's either going to become 666 or it's going to become 999. 999 means it was completed and whatever you were tr making the decision on, you made the right choice and it was, it was solved, it was completed. If it went to 666, it means that it went out of harmony and, uh, and that you're going to have to do it again. You're going to have to find another way to complete that whatever decision that you're trying to make. Um, and I'll talk about 666 and 99 in, in just a moment. Uh, the next one is 444. This is a completely different stage of development here of the numbers. And 444 refers to the mystery schools. It's the school where you are in ordinary life and you have just stepped in and, and begin to become aware of spiritual life and of the subtle energies. And as you begin to study, you're usually reading books. And as you're reading these books, that is the school, that's the mystery school of 444. So you're reading about spirituality. You're, you're not really doing it so much as you're trying to understand what it means and, 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 the, and the expansiveness of what, of what the mystery school is. Um, then there is 555. 
555 is actually the highest number. Uh, it is the number of completion of the mystery school. So we've jumped from the beginning to the very end uh, when you go from 444 to 555. 555 is the number of Christ. It's the number of unity consciousness. It is the Pentagon. Uh, it is, it, uh, it's the angle of 72 degrees. Uh, it goes on and on and on. Uh, but uh, it, is the, it is the perfection of the human being. 666, uh, we all know that that's the number of the beast, but it actually refers to us and to mat the material world. Uh, we are carbon, which we talked about a little bit before, and carbon is based on six electrons, six neutrons, and six protons. And so we are the number 666, and we are the material world where we are at this moment in, in polarity consciousness. And, uh, and so uh, that number, when you see it one time, it basically usually means a warning. <laughs> it means whatever you're thinking about, be careful, because the material world is about to enter into that. Um, if you see it twice in a row, you have to seriously consider this. If it starts coming up three and four and five times, your life is in danger. Uh, you really just got to stop, be very, very careful. If you're driving a car, I wouldn't even, I would pull over. In fact, I did this one time. I was in Germany and the guy was, and the 666 came up about four or five times. And he did pull over and his motor blew up. And I mean, it just exploded. And, uh, and so, uh, uh, another little story. I was in Australia and somebody asked me about what 666 means. And I was walking down the street and I was saying, it was the material world. I was looking like this. And I didn't notice there was a sign below and I ran in and bumped my head on the sign and almost knocked myself out. And, uh, and so, it's, it's physical is what it is. It's a physical thing. It can mean evil but only in extreme cases. It usually just means the material world. Uh, 777 is part of the mystery school again. There's three numbers, 444, 777, and 555. 777 is where you've been reading books, you've been trying to understand the spiritual world, you've been trying to understand ascension and resurrection and meditation and all these kinds of things that are associated with this. And then you step into a stage where you go out of that study mode and you begin to practice. You begin to practice meditation and yoga. And you begin to practice pranayama or breathing. And you begin to actually do this. And that's the, school, that's the number 777. That's what it means. It means that's the stage that you are in at that moment. Eventually you will come to 555, which means you go from 777, where you're practicing, to well, till, till the time you become a master. And when you become a master and you actually understand what's happening and you're living it, you're breathing it, you're making it real, that's 555. Then you go into 888, and 888 is a completion number. It completes only one thing, that's 444. So when you're in the school of 444 and you're reading and studying things and you're trying to understand something, you're going to see 888 a lot. And it'll mean like you're trying to understand, say, crystals that we were talking about. And you're, you're, you're trying to understand them. And then all of one day you get it. You, you get that they're alive. You understand. You feel it. You really do understand it. And you'll see the number 888. It, it says to you, you've just completed that lesson in 444 in the school, mystery school. 999 is also a, uh, a completion mode. It completes um, the cycles of 222. And so when you're, 222 is when a new cycle is beginning. And if you uh, see the number 999, it means that you have, just like in 333, you have completed that cycle. And, uh, and so it's, 999 is tied to 222 as well as to 333. Zero, zero, zero means nothing. <laughs> so don't worry about it. So that's, uh, and these are.